Hey guys, I'm TV presenter, part-time comedian, transracial butterfly, non-binary unicorn and long-time pacifist, Johnny Smugface, and my personal pronouns are Quack! Woof! I've been following the Ukraine crisis very closely with a box of tissues, sometimes for crying into, sometimes for mopping up my jizz with, because when it feels like the world is ending, sometimes all you can do is gently weep and rub yourself off in front of a mirror. I've set up my spare room for Ukrainian refugees. My mother was staying in it following a heart operation, but I kicked her out because tough times call for tough decisions. And right now, what Ukrainian refugees need is my box room in North London's fashionable Crouch End. As you know, the war in Ukraine is very straightforward. Russia bad, Ukraine good. Putin evil, Zelensky hero. All the newspapers are saying that Russia are really struggling and Ukraine could still win this which I'm sure is absolutely true. I mean, it's not like Putin could end us all at any minute with the touch of a nuclear button. All the main news outlets are publishing images and videos from the war zone that look like entirely legitimate and honest representations of the conflict. And there definitely isn't a massive stink of propaganda in the air. I want to call upon the UK government to open UK borders right now to all Ukrainian refugees and welcome them with open arms. With open arms! That's clearly the best solution to this conflict. And it's not like massive uncontrolled immigration into the UK over the past few decades has precipitated deep levels of economic disparity and social unrest. Let's get really heavily involved in this war, which is essentially none of our business, and let's be extremely partisan about our support for Ukraine. That's not going to invite Russian hostility upon the UK at all, is it? Our incredibly vocal support for Ukraine and pro-NATO, anti-Russian narrative definitely isn't giving Putin reason to legitimately target our country next. Let's invite war into the UK with open arms, guys. Let's welcome Russian missiles and tanks with open arms. Bye-bye!